Many thanks to Daisy Podcast, Pandemonium, Fitless Traction Village Servers, Atlas, MGA, Vanilla and Mouse, One Original Daisy Servers, Dust Vanilla Servers, Sheriff Line, Apocalypse Now Servers, Sour Kraut, Sergeant Pepper's Daisy Invasion Server, and PGC Servers for making this video possible. Daisy 1.22 has substantially changed how loud suppressors are to infected, while also changing how far away suppressors and explosives are heard by players up to thousands of meters away now. So in this video, we're going to go over every single sound change in 1.22, along with the huge differences between the metal and the bottle suppressor now, and how birds in Daisy will still give away our position. In the DayZ 1.22 patch notes, it was mentioned that they added tail sounds to suppressors this patch, with tail sounds being the sound effect that gets played after a weapon is fired, or in this case, after a suppressed weapon is fired, which you can hear the differences between here. This change means that the sound of a suppressor is slightly more noticeable to players as the sound gets played for longer and also allows us to differentiate between the various suppressed weapons in DayZ. The loudness to players is roughly the same as it was last patch when it comes to suppressed weapons, making smaller weapons quieter than the high powered weapons that are around 30% louder, like it was last patch, with no suppressed weapon in DayZ being heard beyond 175 meters. However, the loudness of suppressors to infected this patch has changed dramatically to create a difference in loudness between the factory made metal suppressor that took days to precision engineer and a bottle suppressor that you slapped together in 8 seconds in a crusty old shed. In the last patch, all types of suppressor alerted infected up to around 75 meters, with which suppressed gun you fire not making any differences at all. Now in 1.22, for metal suppressors, it's 50 meters instead of 75 meters to alert infected, but for the improvised suppressor, it's three times that distance at 150 meters now, making metal suppressors much better for staying stealthy around infected. This translates to 33% less sound for metal suppressors and double the sound for improvised suppressors from last patch to this one, but this only applies to infected, the sound for metal or improvised is exactly the same and the same distances too for players, so for players it's exactly the same as it was last patch. Much like suppressors in 1.22, explosives were given tail sounds in patch 1.21, but in 1.22 they've also changed their sound too, and especially the sound distances that they can be heard. To infected, the sound of explosives alerts them at the same distances among all explosives, which is 200 meters, which is exactly the same as it was in the last patch, but when it comes to players, there are extreme differences now. For example, the gas pump explosion was heard up to 1,100 meters away in 1.22, but in 1.21 it was increased to 3,000 meters so from Vibor gas station to Mishkino tents you can hear the Vibor gas station exploding from the Mishkino tents. Bear in mind that no other aspect of the gas pump was changed it still does low damage to us it still has the same health before it explodes it's only louder now. The same goes for all other explosives in Daisy. their damage stats and the distances they're heard by infected hasn't changed, but the distances they can be heard by players has been increased massively, apart from these three explosives in Daisy, the landmine, flashbang and the fireworks launcher are quieter this patch. The fireworks launcher used to be heard at 1100 meters, but now for some reason it's 1000 meters and the flashbang could be heard up to 250 meters in the last patch, but now it's only 100 meters away. As for the landmine, its sound is much, much louder now, but for some reason the sound gets cut off abruptly at 1000 meters, so maybe these three explosives are bugged. Other than those three, all other explosive sounds have been increased massively, so the gas canister for example was heard at 250 meters in the last patch, but now it's 750 meters away, and all explosive grenades, including the claymore mine too, is set to 1500 meters instead of a lowly 250 meters, which is a huge difference. The plastic explosive is also much louder, so if you're raiding a base with this, be aware that it can be heard very clearly up to 2000 meters where it gets cut off, instead of 1100 meters like last patch. For anybody not up to speed with how bird and cricket sounds work, bird and cricket sounds are connected to some of the trees and bushes in the game, which stop playing when a gun is fired nearby within 500 meters of that tree or bush, the sound will stop playing completely. In previous patches, birds and crickets went silent when a suppressed weapon was fired within 500 meters, so even though you didn't hear the weapon, they will go quiet immediately, giving away your position or somebody else's position that's using a suppressed weapon within 500 meters of you or the sound source. Now they will no longer go silent when you're firing any weapon that has a suppressor attached, even the bottle suppressor won't make them go silent, and they will now go silent when an explosive detonates within 500 meters of them too, so a firearm that's unsuppressed or an explosive 
Going off within 500 meters of the sound source will make them go quiet, but suppressed weapons won't. This is a bit of a problem because one explosive, the flashbang, and one weapon, the crossbow, silences these birds at 500 meters away, but these weapons cannot be heard up to 500 meters. So the flashbang is only 100 meters away, like I said earlier, and the crossbow is only 25 meters. So if you're firing a crossbow within 500 meters of a sound source, it will cut out, even though the sound only gets heard by players up to 25 meters. So if you hear birds and crickets suddenly going silent, there could be a player shooting at you with a crossbow outside of the 25 meter sound radius that you can hear the crossbow. On top of this, birds and crickets will still go silent immediately as a weapon or explosive detonates. So even though it takes a short amount of time for the sound to travel to you using the speed of sound, which is what Daisy uses, birds and crickets still will instantly go silent. Even before a supersonic crack gets heard by you, the birds will go silent. A lot of other sounds have changed or been added this patch, but the distance that guns are heard is exactly the same as it was last patch, and so is the flare gun, so I believe that it's intended that the flare gun can be heard up to 3,000 meters away. It also looks like the mouth gag or helmets were not intended to stop the first sound when you're red first, so if you're red first or lower, this sound will play regardless of what you're wearing. Thrown metal items will make slightly more sound now and thrown items make a splash sound as they hit the surface of water but crossbow bolts will still get stuck inside water and a lot of crossbow sounds were fixed to play sounds at the correct volumes now. We also have new mining sounds for one-handed items. Washing your hands has a sound when it comes to the canteen and water bottle. The heat bag has a sound and opening cans has a new sound. A wind sound will get played when a fireplace cannot be lit due to it being too windy. And there's also another sound for when a fireplace is too wet, stopping you from igniting a fire in both of these cases. This video concludes the changes that were made in Daisy 1.22 and covers the sound changes that I didn't get time to cover in 1.21. So if you've watched my previous videos on 1.22 and this one, you are now up to date with the changes to this patch and you are ready for patch 1.23. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.